Everybody can start talking now. Okay, is it, uh, see if the <coughs> hand's agitating as I talk here. Whoa. Dear Ken, Betty, uh, Roger, Carl, Christine, Cindy, and whoever happens to be listening in down there. Uh, Beautiful job. This is, uh, you know who is gentle voice. And we're uh, over here to Cherry and Fred's. We come over tonight, this Sunday night, November, what did we say it was? 20, 26th. 26th, November 26th. And uh, D graduates this coming Friday, November, uh, December, December 1st. Is it Thursday? No, November 30th. November 30th. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday, she graduates. And uh, uh, Mrs. Warden, Fred's mother, gave uh, D a pair of shoes, or uh, got a pair of shoes from... Uh, the company where she works, and uh, we come over to get them, and we've been playing uh, uh, aggravation. aggravation, and uh, we aggravated Sharon, and <laughs> <laughs> I, gu I guess it was. <laughs> did, did Uncle Gordon. I, and I and I guess it was worth it, really, in the end. <laughs> it, it, Uncle Gordon was more aggravated than I was. Yeah, they kind of put me right square back. Because he was winning, and then we made sure he didn't win. Well, we'll we'll, we'll let Sherry start the thing here. Uh oh. I don't know. I don't know what I didn't think about what I was going to say, but we we hope you're all fine down there and everyone's doing just great here. We just heard about Old McDonald's Farm and, and from TV. <laughs> kind of dumb. Oh, my big mouth. No, not just a little bit. Hold it like this, yeah. I haven't. Th I better let somebody else talk for right now because I haven't thought about this. She, she, got, she, she got so aggravated she couldn't yeah. talk. Yeah, I will <laughs> say something. It's cold out tonight. Oh, in fact, it was even snowing a little bit when we came over here. And uh, Sherry made some pancakes and sausage. <coughs> yes. But she didn't eat pancakes and sausage. She ate hot dogs. <laughs> She's trying to lose weight on how many hot dogs a day? On four hot dogs a day. Yes. Turn the TV she doesn't eat too much. Uh, she doesn't eat too much in between, and she drinks black yes. coffee. Yeah, I drink black coffee, and I have skin milk. All kinds, of, five glasses of skin milk, and all kinds of vegetables. Uh, well, anyway, she's trying to yummy, lose yummy. But um, a good wind would blow her away. Uh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know That's they were being awful good ones. They were playing these. 190. <laughs> They were playing oh, these no. games tonight, and I'm a poor loser, so I didn't enter in there too much. <laughs> I get mad if someone beats me, you know, so I, I just don't uh, play them that way. I won't get mad. <laughs> I, 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 I was in there uh, watching television, and I was watching Ed Sullivan show, and then, then the Smothers Brothers came on, and they aren't so good. I don't know, Sunday night isn't so hot for television anymore like it used to be. But... Seems good to be able to watch television. I don't have to bury my nose in the book reading about somebody's gallbladder acting up or something like that or finding out the symptoms of heart attack and so on. It seems funny to be able to call my soul my own now. Um, you, you're going to read my pulse for me? Yeah. We're supposed to have our, our graduation <laughs> breakfast at the Mona Lake Boat Club on Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock. And you should see where that darn thing is. It's way back in, a, in some pine trees. In the yeah. And you go back there, it says uh, Mona Lake Boat Club, and it says, uh, uh, no, you can't. Uh, You're coming to my Christmas party. It says uh, that um, the boat club is back there, you know, and all it looks like is pine trees. Mm -hmm. And you go there, and it says stop, that it's a private, and you can't go in. And then when you look on the left-hand side, there's a, a bunch of old, icky buildings that look like they fall in. And then as we uh, go down over a hill toward Mona Lake, there's a real swanky boat club, and that's where they're going to have it. What time? All kinds of things going on this week. Night? Mm -hmm. what, what Saturday day? night. Saturday night? Mm -hmm. what, what day? Saturday night. On what? the 16th. Well, that's always nice. Find out that I'm going mm -hmm. to a Christmas party I didn't know about until tonight. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have one too. Is it going to be a wild one or a tame one? Mm -hmm. It's going to be wild. You have to bring your own drinks. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Okay, you really? Mm -hmm. Where is it going to be at? At the sky, out in surgery. Well, see, every, everybody from surgery is invited. Oh. Is Merle going? And so this doctor he, that works up there. Is Don't going. grind your foot in the mine. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> every, this, guy, this doctor from surgery is going to have it over his house. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Wow. 
We're going to have one, too. It's going to be at the Community Center in Grand Haven December the 7th at 7.30. All the um, people from the Grand Haven Municipal Hospital is going to be there. Then they're going to have one the 14th of December for the oh, second really floor. Uh -huh. Out at, uh, mm -hmm. out on um, uh, Mercury Drive to that uh, inn out there. They're going to have chicken dinner for the second floor. And then we're going to, we're all, we all have to bring a, a dollar present and exchange gifts. More parties, and I'm not invited to know. Him, I know. <laughs> well, he could come to that one over the community Year's center, Year's but he Year's won't Year's do it. I, I think, I, what'd you say, Brandon? Let's have a New Year's Eve party together. I think we ought to, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Who else can we invite? Uncle Gordon and Andy. We can get Kenny and Betty. Yeah. Uh, you guys are invited to the to a, to a New Year's Eve party. Uh, yes. We'll have 10 feet of snow, but you're invited. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, bet. Really, I think we should. Yeah. But, but when? What do you mean? Well, National New Year's Eve. Eve. <laughs> yeah, well, we have, we have to figure it out. 69 or 70 or something? No, 68. No, we don't want to wait too long. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, we'll have to figure out when. We have to. Yeah. Well, what's new, Sharon? Huh? We've been married eight months. Yeah, we're going to be married eight months we as of yesterday. yesterday. Eight months yesterday. Aren't we doing good? Man. Haven't got a divorce yet. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not been fighting too much either. Well, they're, they're married for about 19 years. Night, yeah. Then, then we'll start getting mad at each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, what can I tell you now? Oh, well. Um, we're still on our honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, we're still on our honeymoon. No. <laughs> we're going up to, should I tell them about Ann Arbor or should I just keep Oh, the, oh sure. Why not? I mean, oh, well, Fred and I are going to Ann Arbor because it's the size specialist up there. And we're going to... See about Fred's eyes. See if anything being done about his, and and see if they can operate on my eyes. Because when Mom had hers done, she her eyes improved. Ma, Mom's went from 2,400 to 2,100 and, and improving yet. So I don't know. She's got better than 2,100 now, and so if I could have better than 2,100, it'd be worth it. So, and hers is still improving. So, God, you just. Anyway, Fred's going to see if anything can be done with his eyes, and then we're going to find out about inheritance, too. So. Did, you, did, did, did he know about your mother having that? Mm -mm, I don't think so. Did he? Well, tell me. about that. Well, when my mother had her operation done, it was, well, the whole thing. She did have an operation. Yeah, she had an operation and had her cataracts removed. And she had 2,400, and this cataracts, I, I mean, glaucoma specialist did it. and And he said that, that when her patches came off from her eyes, her she had 2,100, and once she got her glasses, and and it, you know, and the eyes had healed, and these stitches came out and everything, it should be it would have improved. So I don't know what she has now. No one ever said, but I know it's pretty good now. That's kind of wonderful in a way, isn't it, uh, to to have a operation like that, and uh, uh, there's. You know, uh, to be nearly nearly blind and then have an operation and be able to see again, that's wonderful. Judy, you ain't said hello. Hi. Well, that well, was sure. Come on. You want to say something to Chris? <laughs> Roger, Carl? Not too close. Hi, Christine. Got your letter. Uh, we don't have too much to say. Not really. Would you do the right letter? Did anymore? you tell him we got all his tapes? Oh, uh, yeah, well, I'll, uh, do you hear Sharon? Yeah, well, we got your tape, and it seemed good to hear from you. And uh, and I've got a, an, uh, to add my two cents in here. I sent you a tape uh, with uh, the prescription to your contact lens scan that I got from Dr. Uh, Gizmo there in Grand Haven. What's his name? Julie in uh, Grand Haven, and uh, your prescription was in the box on top of the tape. And then uh, no more than send that out, and two or three days later, we got uh, tapes from New York. So uh, we got two of them. So, uh, so then I, se I sent you another one back. That's two, and we've been kind of waiting to hear from you, too. So uh, you see, uh, we haven't heard from you in quite a while. I think it was about a week or so ago I sent that one out, or better than that, that wasn't it, Dean? Yeah. And uh, <coughs> we... S we made another one up over here, and uh, we got the one with the music on from New York, and, and Brother Don and, uh, and uh, Sherry and Fred have had it over here, and they've played it, 
and I'm going to make some, take some copies off from it, and because uh, uh, Don wants one, and Cherry wants one, and we want to keep one, and off both of them tapes, the music you made down, uh, down uh, it, with your orchestra down Bradenton there, and also the uh, orchestra in New York, and we thought it was kind of good uh, hearing from you like that, and as uh, soon as I uh, get some copies made uh, off that, I can we can use that tape up and send it back. Yeah, that darn tapes are hard to come by, aren't they? Three, three, three for a buck. Three for eighty-nine. Whereabouts in in uh, yeah, eighty-nine? At Goldblatt's. In, in, in Gold, Benton Harbor, once in a while. In Benton Harbor, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Ain't too often, but uh, pick we it up. stack up on. Them. There are only three yeah. to a customer. Oh, or six to a customer, Nine. aren't they? Nine to a customer. Nine, Nine to Four. a customer, and Fred would go in and get some, and I'd go and get some. Oh, some yeah, I, get some, I, would, get some. <laughs> I would sure like to. <laughs> we get our share. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys get uh, bargain tapes like that down there? There's none in Grand Haven anymore. They all want a buck a piece for the damn things. Yeah. Buck twenty nine to. A it used to be cashmere's you could get them. Cashmere's for a while they had uh, bargains, but they don't they don't have them no more. They haven't had them for a long time. Here it's getting near the end of this, so get ready to flip it over. Kind of a cheap tape, it goes, runs out quick, see? So. Yeah. And uh, there must there be something to say here in the meantime. <laughs> uh, what'd you say, Judy? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, you better, uh, we better let you, we'll let you know. We, we, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm watching this tape and don't know what to say here. We may be we down in January. And we got $60 deaths. But we've talked, uh, but Brother Don and, and uh, us have all got together and talked about coming down to see you in January. And uh, we haven't heard from you and we don't know anything. Put us up. Now he's oozing his eyes while I'm talking again. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is the where is the button that you? Uh, right here. Oh, you just stop it again. <laughs> now, if I if I get the ooh out again, I can just push the <laughs> push the button. <laughs> you can stop it a minute. Well, anyway, I was watching the end of the tape coming there, and I expected it to come any minute, and it wasn't. And every time I said ah, I would. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, Ken, you better write back and let us know because we don't exactly know how we're going to come. Uh, uh, right, we talk, we've talked it over pretty good, and we don't know whether to bring the scamper and rent a camper for Dunn's pickup or bring our car and pull the uh, scamper behind it because it's uh, eight people barging in on you, and I don't think you can sleep with all of us, especially if Mon them come down. We don't know hardly what to do. You, you, I don't think your facilities are adequate enough to, <laughs> to handle too many people, so uh, we don't really know what to do. You probably better advise us on this. But as things are now, we're planning on coming sometime in January. About the first or second week. Uh, maybe the first, second week, or maybe long, long towards last. We don't really know. So uh, please advise yeah. immediately, the sooner the better, so we can make, try and make definite plans on what to do. Sherry wants to sing. Oh, I do? No, I, I decided I wasn't going to sing anymore. Fred told me not to sing on the mic, so I'm not going to. Fred's going to talk well, to you instead. Well, I wish I had her sing while she was going to. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, please, no. She said she was going to sing, but she changed her mind. Well, I'll sing, I'll sing, um... You tell your dad we got a new desk. Yeah, we got a new desk. We got a $60 desk. Isn't that joyous? We, we're, we're, getting, we're getting ourselves, you know, all fixed up here. We got a $275 desk for $60, so that wasn't bad. It's used, though. Yeah, it's used. But brand new would cost, and he was going to sell it second hand for one hundred twenty-five dollars, and which would include the chair. And he said for Freddie, he'd sell it to him for sixty dollars. You know, uh, for this, I would keep this tape recorder. I wouldn't sell it to nobody. Why? Because it would be, it'd be worth its weight in gold to, just to tape back and forth. Yeah, right. Yeah, so we got that gift to us. Huh? How would you? Re huh? We got a gift to us. I know you did. In the state. But why? Why? We'd uh, never get rid of it. Why? Why yeah. ever get rid of it? Why just mm -hmm. keep it? Because <coughs> tape recorders always need to have one, I think. Yeah. You bet. You get a tape from your dad, for instance. How would you play it if you didn't have a recorder? That's right. And if you want to make one, how would you do it without a recorder? Yeah. See? Yes. Um, I like this recorder. I think it works sure, good. Sure, you bet. It's a damn recorder. What? We were playing aggravation before, and 
Well, you see, you got to get all the, you got to get all your men. There, you got four men. You got to get them all around the board. And they thought they were aggravating me, but they weren't, because I was so far behind. I couldn't have won won in the first place. But Uncle Gordon had his last guy almost all the way home, and then I came out and knocked him off. Yeah, she put you right back <laughs> at the beginning again. And I was so far behind that I couldn't aggravate him anyway. And so he was aggravated more than I was. I didn't need all the what did you say, yeah. Judy? Oh, I'll give you a word. I'm pretty good at that. What did you say, Judy? You I'll give you a word. I'm pretty good at no, that. No, about, about being where? I said, I was so far behind that I could get aggravated anyway. Yeah, I was too. And I didn't play aggravation because I could aggravate it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My aunt had a uh, brown was, back, you know, and I gave her one of the things that she has had trouble with that. Dee was <laughs> aggravated before she got started. Dee didn't have to start to get aggravated. We played hands down. She got aggravated. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't understand that game. You get a couple of pairs and you whack a hand down. <laughs> and if you don't, if you're not first or second or third, if you're the last one, they can grab a card away from you. I don't get. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's to get a lot that's of cards. Sure. That's to get, get, get a lot of pairs. When somebody, when a body only has a card or two in their hands, and somebody snatches them away, like that's not fair, is it? Yeah. Well, yeah. it is if they get the. Yeah, it's if they get, if it is if they get the homely guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then not only that, <laughs> not only that, there's a happy man and a sad man, and I don't know, I don't get the connection there either. Well, the happy man can make supposed a pair to be with a anybody. Jack of all trades, maybe. Well, the know. sad, the sad man takes twenty points away from me, and the happy man gives you so. How come I don't get that? Well, well, that <laughs> because you, once you that, wouldn't you be sad mm -hmm. having twenty points given away from you? Yeah, take you don't have to. Look and wouldn't you be sad? <laughs> you'd be happy if you got twenty points, so that's why the guy's happy. Oh, I see. Yeah, but when you slap that hand, it leaps up in the air about two feet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, tell, well, tell him about the Hollander. Why the how the first two Hollanders got over here, Fred? Yeah, the first two Hollanders got over here because the first one swam across and the second one walked across on the scum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dee, what was that one about you was telling Ken about the nun, and you missed up most of it? Oh, did he miss most of it? Yeah, I think yeah. he did. Oh, let's see. I don't remember what it is now. I'll tell it. <laughs> Judy remembers it. Well, see, these these sisters came into this uh, store and they asked this guy for some wine. And he oh, yeah. says, um, well, I can't sell it to you. She says, well, Brother Superior needs it for constipation. <laughs> and um, he says, all right, if Mother Superior wants it. Oh, he goes out a few hours later, closes up the store. He says, I thought that wine was for Brother Superior. And she says, well, Brother Superior, sure shit when she sees us now. They were out dancing around the streets. She forgot that they were dancing around the streets and everything, and the storekeeper saw them dancing and having a big old time all drunk and everything, and he comes out and he says, I thought that wine was for Mother Superior. Yeah, Mother Superior sure shit when she sees us. <laughs> oh. yeah. I hope we don't get any snow this week because I want everything to be perfect for graduation. Mm -hmm. It never is, though. Yeah, you know, next week I start making a dollar ninety-five an hour after I graduate, so I think it's worth it. That's for sure. <laughs> We've been <laughs> We've been watching the meals. Uh, wondering if he's going to send a tape back to see how you got home there, Ken, and uh, maybe tomorrow we'll get one. Betty and Don are all enthusiastic about going, and Alec Q wants to go through the mountains, and Kathy's kind of interested too, so. Uh, they really do want to come, but Don's got to wind up his work, and I have to get time off myself. I hope they'll let me have two weeks off. And Judy and Kathy and Alan have got to find out at school if they can take the time off to go. Uh, we don't exactly know how to plan this, so you better help <laughs> us out a little bit. We'd like to come, but <coughs> masseurs work better in the wintertime than in the summertime, so <clears throat> masseurs don't have much business in good weather. We'll be down in August, come hell or high water. <laughs> yeah. If uh, we had a bus, we could take everybody. Wouldn't that be neat? If, if uh, Sherry and Fred wanted to come, we'd find a way. Yeah. Uh, if we could rent one of those great big buses, then there'd be plenty of room for everybody. Who's going? I don't know. But when it comes off August, Fred won't have any customers and won't they come have, down. They, they probably they have them in Grand Rapids. You know them car uh, them them. Uh, rent cars. No, they're, they're yeah, there is a there's in a, a phone book. They got one of those deals. Mm -hmm. Well, you rent a bus. Yeah. Uh, it's it's well, a it's, they, it's a factory yourself. made deal. They've got it's a house like a house trailer mm -hmm. inside. Only you drive it. You yeah. Yeah. Call right in the driver's seat and drive it. But you'd have to have dri a truck license. Eight nine people you? and truck driver's license. Don Don would have no trouble. He could. He could drive it down. Yeah. That'd be neat. 
Uh, yeah, we gotta find out about that. Yeah, well, eight or ten people can sleep in that. Room. Be, see, uh, it's kind of kind of trouble with Alan <laughs> because we don't know how far he can stand yeah, the ride. Yeah, you go to the bathroom, you flush it. And uh, the <laughs> they can't they, they can't they can't leave him with nobody really because uh, he has bathroom trouble. because he has bathroom trouble. They no there's, there's nobody can really take care of him, and uh, we almost have to bring him. And we got other problems, whether to bring his wheelchair or have you, you uh, Ken, if whether to have you rent one for him so he'd have it when we got down there. Take one. Or take one. You better send us the tape back so we know what the scoop is, huh? Yeah, if you want to see a truckload of wises, you better send a dog on. A wise uh, truckload. Tape. A wise truck. Wise truckload or a truckload of wises. Yeah. Truckload of wises. Hey, did, you, did they put, did they put wise, wise Dolores on your, on your report cards? Yeah. Every report card I ever got always had Wise Sharon on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always had Wise Judas on it. Yeah. Judas. Oh, I hate that name, Judas. Uh oh. Well, well, Judith, is it? Yeah. Marie. Judith. Well, Judith, you got anything more to say? Judith Marie. <laughs> and when I get mad at her, that's what I got. My first one is going to be Pammy. It is Pammy. That's a cute name. I like it. Family. I don't even get a vote anymore. I like the name of Amy. Yeah. I know. Her friend has nothing to say about this. Though. <laughs> Not one thing do I say. And my, uh -oh. my first well, boy is going to say. It's going to be this way. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all I get. I like I the name of nothing. Amy. Uh, I like the name of Amy. Amy. Lorna Jean's got the flu and the baby stand, uh, Rhonda stands to uh, probably get it too. And boy, the next time oh, I'll we have Rhonda. a telephone call saying the baby's sick again. Every doll Judy ever has been called uh, Amy. Yeah, that's because I had one by that name. No, only that little. that one I've had the last twenty years. No, twenty <laughs> years. Ouch! No, I don't have it anymore. Cut it out. Cut it out. You just got. Me. Yeah, but you scared me like that. Who, who says? Who says <laughs> oh. that? I hear that resounding whack. Sherry, no. hit Fred, Fred hit Sherry. They're beating each other up here. They're still grinning yet, this but it's it. Nope, bang, bang. They're, st they're still grinning yet, so they can't be serious. You're a big old oaf. Referee, that is. <laughs> We're getting near the end here, folks. That white corner. Fred, 172, 198 pounds. And, Sherry and the other one, one, Sherry Warden, 110 pounds. 158. 110. Oh. You can get Sherry another 40 pounds. <laughs> oh, no. Or 50, maybe. No, not that much. How much? 20. Twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay. Well, tell them to say goodbye. Well, we'll be saying goodbye now that our fighting is all over with. If Fred will stop slugging me. <laughs> He's very mean to me. You're <laughs> that resounding laugh. Of course. You're that resounding laugh. <laughs> 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 well, that was Fred hitting Sherry that time, but before it was the other way around. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm going to get my rolling pin out now. <laughs> well, you guys, let's hear Billy, from you. Billy, get to your room. Yeah, yeah, we're really serious about Fred, this. Fred, you better say goodbye. Trip. Yeah, we all better say goodbye here, and so we'll see you next August. Here's Dee. We're serious about the Florida trip and everything else coming up, so send a tape back so we know what you could plan well, to do. Well, the mother's going to be there or what? We'll see y'all. And, uh... Say goodbye, Judy. And um, don't hit your boyfriend too hard, and, uh, Christine. And um, Sherry. And um, we'll see you now. <laughs> Good okay. luck. Okay. Bye. Here's G Wise, or otherwise. Well, I got two rounds, a couple of rounds for a few hours. Oh no, not And. Uh, we're not doctors. It looks like Sherry went to work. And, and I assume, Ken, that from Sherry and Fred's tape that you made it back.